Hello, I'm Entradism and welcome to Let's Play Phantom Doctrine. Uh, so Phantom Doctrine is a espionage XCOM style technical game where you have a little squad of people, you've got to do espionagey things in the Cold War and then between missions you go back to your base and you upgrade things and you send people out on missions and then you go back to doing another mission, a bit like XCOM where you've got that in-world like tactical mission and then the world map base stuff, which is your strategic portion. Uh, set in the Cold War, and uh, we're going to go new game, and medium difficulty, which will probably be bad, because I suck at this game, uh, and we will disable the tutorial next. So in this, you can pick three factions. We can only pick two, because the other one is locked. We can play as a CIA or as the KGB. Um, obviously, the CIA means that everyone will speak English, and the KGB means people will speak Russian, and I will get to go, Law, oh, I am KGB. I work from headquarters. Uh, we have no bread, but rations exist, and you can go line up in long queue for rations. Um, I don't know. I'm making stuff up on the fly here. Uh, we're going to go KGB, just because it gives an excuse to do a Russian accent, pretty much. And we will be... I'm going to try and go through the creation relatively quick here. I know that... You know, the Skyrim thing, the whole... I'm going to spend more on character creation than I will on any other portion of the game. Uh, because, you know, character creation is important. Also, I have done character creation off camera so that I know what I'm going to be playing and won't spend a million years on it here. Elisa... Elisimov. Maybe... maybe Hi, Amazon Echo. Why are you... Alexa, stop. It's... Okay, that's cool. Entera Elisimov. Maybe that should be just Elisimov? Elisov? Elisov. 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 Entera Elisov. That's totally a Russian name. Or maybe enter Elisov. Enter Elisov. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go create and... Hi there. Uh, not slim because you look way too anorexic. It's not healthy. And green eyes. Yeah. Red hair? Black hair? I mean, our picture is black hair. Kind of on the red hair, though. It's kind of cool. I like I like it a lot. Um, go red hair. And... Windbreaker, because that's a really cool jacket. Scarf can be like a lilac color to match the jacket. Pencil skirt. Not a pencil skirt. Like, you can't run in a skirt, right? We're a wet worky operative person who does all this badass spy stuff. You don't want to wear a skirt. You can't run. Like, unless you, like, rip the side of it. But then, like, you'll have to rip the side of it, like, every mission. Then you'll just spend a fortune in new skirts. It's, it's not the way to go. Uh, we will go for... We've got like chinos or something. Chinos. If we change the color. Nah, maybe cargo pants. Yeah, cargo pants are the way forwards. Loafers. Derbies. Heavy, heavy duty boots. Yeah, they're going to go nicely with the cargo pants. Yeah, in a brown. Headgear. And that has altered my top. That's great. Actually, I like the military cap. Oh, and I can change my hair color here. Thanks for that. And then I wear... Could get some... Oh, you get eye patches. No, people need to earn eye patches, right? Like, I give eye patches to people after they've had, like, serious injury or epicness. That they, you need to earn the badassness of that, right? You need to earn the badass attachment. Weird earrings. That's just dangerous. Ooh! Earpiece. Yes! Uh, that's way too obvious. Look like at the flesh tone. That's nice. Matches. We're going to go with try and get the flesh tone to work. And no scars, you need to earn them. Right, if we zoom back. Yeah, you look good. Let's just start game. There we go. Counter creation done. Under five minutes. 
The events you are about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date they are cut. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. It's a ship. CS Marquis. I... Does this have a cargo ship? Maybe? Oh, it's a submarine. Hi. Sort of special cargo with phantom doctrine symbols on it. This is Golf Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Sto? Okazati Rashifrovko. A bistri. Nimedlina was not in Moscow. Nimedlina. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Ooh. Raiders! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. Agent Yukon divulged secret information to the Americans. His arrest warrant was signed to Patriot and accompanied by codes with highest level of clearance. So someone important in Moscow must consider his crime very serious. As an officer of the Space Forces Directorate, Gukars, Yukon will be handed, handled by the local KGB counterintelligence unit. You. Okay. So... Arrest Yukon, evacuate upon completion of the main mission. Cool. We can do this. So, welcome to our first mission. Two months later. Space Forces Director, Yukos Facility, Daddy Vostok, USSR. Why do you just not arrest him? I want to see who else will appear. I think the GRO is already on the side. The Volk is talking. Что случилось? Милиционеры только что сбежали в здание. Не могу больше говорить. Не думаю, что эти менты здесь официально. I don't think the doctor officially. Neither do I. Expect them to shoot you on sight. We're trying not to make too messy. Too much paperwork. That's the one thing about playing the Russian side. Like, I know a lot of people prefer to listen to the YouTube videos, or at least like have them in the background. It's hard to keep track if they're Russian, like, you don't speak Russian. Um, so let me know if you want me to, like, vocalize the subtitles for you. Right. Uh, I'm not going to make sure you have to listen to my terrible Russian accent um, for the entirety of this, but so far, we have a pretty normal technical thing. Like, it's got squares, there's buildings, there's, ooh, hello, many levels. All right, this is the second floor British, third floor sensible. So, Ground, first, second, or one, two, three. I'm probably not going to use the British because I actually do prefer the everyone else version of this is the one, two, three, third floor, so it should be named the third floor. I guess unless you consider British to be the most like optimal floor system because like ground is zero, so zero, one, two. Like it's like computing, like everything starts with a zero. That's my excuse. Anyway, uh, so we've got to get up there and arrest Yukon. And you can see we have this red area here. This is basically telling us if we go in this area, this is our out of bounds. If we go here, people will complain at us. We're allowed to go there. Like, the game wants us to go there. But if we get spotted, that will be bad. We also have cameras looking at the base of the stairs covering this. So they will spot us instantly. However, 
glowing thing. Glowing thing is the turning off cameras, so we've got to go to the glowing thing. Ooh, did that glow when I highlighted it? Can we, like, steal some coats and make ourselves... No? Okay. Ah. Don't sneak right. Up on me like that. So go through the trespass area, then not trespassing, and turn. Oh! Right, so that's a civilian who just walked through this trespassing area. Civilian, you, you trespassed. I mean, it is like an alleyway. It feels like you should be able to walk there. I guess it's just to warn you that there's a camera, but yeah. Uh, right, you can run in here and activate that. Pick the cabinets clean. Everything is evidence. Ooh, there's a safe here. Right, so in the missions, you can pick up documents and stuff. Uh, and also safe of cabinet material, which is like extra bonus objective stuff that you can get. So, Indigo, Kodiak, which is me, and Theremin are my agents for today. There are many like them. Ooh, we've got eight armor. You've got one armor, you've got one armor. You've got 88, 88 health. 88 health, okay. You also see that we've got like these two little triangles and then like a diamond. The triangles are movement and the diamonds like action. So you can move twice and then do an action. Some actions require you to use a move as well, like fully auto with some guns is an action and one move. Um, most guns are just an action though, so you can like double move and then action. Uh, we are going to, now we've done that, sneak up the stairs. I want to try and remain in cover when we do this, because I don't know who's up here. Now, we're behind half cover. If no one's been alerted, I think if we're behind half cover, we remain hidden. Ooh, and there's a document in here. Sweet. All right, we're trespassing. Oh, hello. Someone's up the top here. Hopefully, they won't see us down here. And you have no movement left. You do. Um, I'm tempted to have a look in here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, hello. Right, so there's a guard here. And I really want that information. So what we can do is abilities takedown. So takedown costs us a move and well, an action point and a, an action, a fire point. You know, I call some fire points and action points. I call them move and action, but whatever. Uh, we can afford to do this. And it also costs us 50 awareness. Now, it will knock them out if they have less HP. Yeah, if HP is lower than the attacking unit, non-lethal against civilians. And you'll see that we have... This is our HP. There's also a bar below. This blue bar here is our awareness. And it's used for a lot of things like defending yourself, but it's also used for some things like this. So we can... Boop. Knock you out. And then we'll take a picture of that document. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, they won't be here any minute. You haven't alerted anyone. You can take a picture in there. Or whatever it is, pick it up. We've got a BM. I actually don't know what a BM is. I assume it's some kind of gun or something. You tend to get a lot of guns. Uh, okay, we're going to run out here and start making our way up towards the stairs. Open that door. Can we close doors? I think we can. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ladder, ladder. Right, so there's a ladder here which goes up into the target room. Nice. 
Uh, we could also check that room out as well before we think about doing that. We know there are enemies on the floor above. Hurry up. They'll be here any minute now. Oh, it's fine in there. Why are you complaining at me? Oh, you aren't complaining. It's just the end turn timer. That's just your warning you're in a restricted area. Okay, let's move forwards. Uh, nothing in here for us? No, okay. Who is that? Ooh. Ha! I've got no turn tower at the moment, so I might as well grab these things. Bulletproof vest! Okay, that's good to know. What we'll probably want to do is send someone up there to have, like, a scout. And then we can see if we need to send anyone actually up to this floor. Because if we go up to this floor, there's, like, at least one person walking around. And I don't know of another way up here. Actually, if we can get up in here secretly, that's probably the best way. Because if we go up the stairs, like, we have no idea where they are. Whereas if we come up through this door, we can hide. Coming up here is just death. Because there's no actual cover on the stairway. So if they walk past, they'll spot us instantly. So I'll get you to run to here. Uh, and that's all our movement. Ooh. Okay, haven't spotted us. Good to know. We could... Oh, okay, we could knock them out. Yeah, do it. Can I, like, move the body or anything? Hmm. Focus costs a five point. That regenerates awareness. Yeah, you can see our awareness is pretty low now after doing that. I guess we will spend our last movement point, but the body's still going to be left there. Just in case someone comes through any of these doors. Um, yeah, we'll get ready to breach this room what up? and we'll get you to start moving back to come up through that ladder I don't know why like our most armored person Kodiak our agent with like eight armor is the one who's not going to do the breach but eh it works I know what it is. It's because I'm a terrible gamer. Uh, right. Do you want to... Can you single move up here? No, it's two moves only. Okay. Right. Two move behind cover here. I got a vision. He's dead. Somebody's tied up loose ends. Maybe the dossier is still intact. Follow the blood trail. Ooh. Right. So... This is a blood trail in the room above us. Okay. Right, so we're going to make our way to there. Luckily, we have an agent up there. And there's a guard in there. Okay. Um, I could go on Overwatch, but if I fire, then they're going to know we're here. So I'm just going to hunker down where I am. In XCOM, the term hunker down is actually a thing, so I don't actually mean like the XCOM hunker down, which has an effect. I mean, just like, we're just going to stand here. Uh, I think we'll also probably want to... Is that safe or anything? We'll move to there. Nah, it's not safe. Oh, there's documents in here, though. And in case you spot us and call for reinforcements, what we'll do is we'll open that door and then do... Ah, I can't do Overwatch. Most guns you can do Overwatch with an action with a fire point, but ours is a sparrow, which is a big gun. I'm not familiar with a lot of Russian equipment, uh, so it requires a movement point as well to do the Overwatch. So I can't really Overwatch, which is a shame. Uh, right, everyone done? Yeah. Okay.
I'm going to do a very silly thing and just run into this room to take a picture of this. Probably should check out the rooms before I do this. This will get us killed. Uh, right, can I... Take down you? Yes. And I can't pick that briefcase up. I assume I need to be the other side of it. That's weird. Uh, right, you. What's needed? Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of that next turn. I guess your job will be to secure the exit. So, these stairways. So, this is actually a good position to put you in. And then we'll just... Overwatch. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I used my movement point. Uh, sure. End turn. Smells like gas. The torsion plates don't stay long. Ooh. Okay. Guess we do have a time limit now. We've got the files. Sloppy work, Gru. Gather now. There might be reinforcements. Oh, reinforcements. Okay. Uh, I really want to look in this last room, though. There could be something in there. Get on with it. Hide, kill, or, in or incapacitate enemies, preventing guards from fight. Ooh. I actually, I don't want to find the the. I just want to get in front of that door. But sure. Uh. Oh, that looks like a safe. I wanna, I wanna get the safe. Okay, we're gonna get the safe. Yeah, it's a safe. Sweet. In which case, you can. Look to here. Get on with it. And we will put an overwatch. Now, you can do two different types of overwatch. You can do an area overwatch, which is around you in all directions, or you can do like a directional cone. We're going to do the directional cone because we want to guard down there. Okay. Crack the safe. Compact follower. As opposed to all those followers who take up a lot of room. I hate it when they take my inventory space. Uh, right. Open that door. Nothing in here. Okay. We'll make our way back towards the stairs, because I think the stairs are probably the only way down. And evacuation is over here. We can call for an evac, and it'll take three turns to appear. We don't need one just yet. Uh, right. I'm back this way. Overwatch. Get on with it. Might might be able to do this like completely silently. Sweet. Gonna be badasses. Right, one move. Two move. Overwatch. Overwatch. And you can overwatch without the movement because you've got a much smaller gun. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Certainly does it. Now we could go down these stairs. Which is a good call because there is a safe here. Oh, it's like a locker or something, but meh. Point being, it might be cool. Uh... How do we do that? Probably best to like dive in here. And then have you move up. So we can see down below. Who is that? Okay. So cover there. Oh, that window. We know there's a civilian walking around here. If that civilian sees us, ooh, that would be difficult. Jeez, okay. I it was somebody else. Right. One move. 
Open door. Anything we can steal in here? No. Well, we already get seen if you can see through that door, so I might as well open this one. And then Overwatch with an AK. Air effect Overwatch. And I guess it will... And then we'll also call the evacuation. Do we have more places that we can evac from, or is it just the one? I'm on my way. Okay, three turns till evac. Sweet! I bet we'll get seen by the civilian. What's needed? Oh, we didn't! There is a civilian here, though. Can we take out civilians? Yes! Hi. Oh. Sorry. Bulletproof vest, compact follower. Five of five. Perfect. Um, can we like open that shutter? No. And then this is an unrestricted space. So we're allowed to go here. Yeah, I've done it without being detected. I feel like such a pro suddenly. Hey, civilians. Nothing to, nothing to look at. We're cool. That's not at all noticeable. Okay, that's uh, that's our getaway. Oh. Smooth, not a problem. Maybe we could have been a little bit less noticeable about the, you know, cool driving. We got all the classified documents, all the equipment. Oh, we got perfect mission. Nice. Total danger increase. Okay, so if you get danger from being seen and compromised and your evac gets compromised because you spend too long trying to get away, your danger increases and your danger is like how long till they find your base or something? So, yeah, we aced it. Received orders to arrest Agent Yukon, selling classified information to the American intelligence. Unfortunately, a group of militia mercenaries beats the scene and kill the corporate before we get to him. We need to find out who hired the militia and what's so valuable about these materials that they decide to kill Yukon for. Okay. So we got ourselves a BM. Which is a 440 damage. I didn't need to talk about any fighty stuff in this entire episode. Weird. So, uh, weapons all do two damage types, either minimum or maximum. They don't do anything in between. The point is that if you've got, like, a high awareness, you're gonna dodge more likely, and they'll probably do minimum, but if you've got a low awareness, then you're more likely to do max damage or something. I don't fully understand it, but it's roughly that. Reload cost, two movement, clip size, 20, mod slots. Okay. Bulletproof vest. Reduces damage by seven. Compact follower. Okay, so it carries extra, it increases clip size. Okay. Space warfare documents. Okay, and two new agent candidates, Girot and Fortress. We got experience, new perks, and new training. Those policemen shouldn't have been there. Did Patriot set us up? Or did he want us to get ahead of them? Wouldn't count on it. Pay a visit to local police. They might tell you who hired our friends. Might? No, they will tell me. One way or another. Pay a visit to Vladivostok militia to find out who hired them. Okay. Let's go to the crew corps. So, uh... Ooh, hello. Indigo? Can I change your name? No. Uh, Perk. 
Dancer increases decreases awareness cost of dodging. So when we get shot at, we lose less awareness. Actor. Disguise cannot be detected. Comet Sense increases maximum awareness. Custom gear improves reload time. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Theremin. Martial artist decreases awareness cost of takedown. Expert marksman. Snapshots no longer end turn. Increases maximum awareness. Increases awareness regeneration. And we've already got faster body engineering. Ooh. Bonus experience for interruption. Jobs and loyal. This agent is loyal and impervious to any influence. We can get fearless. We cannot be suppressed. Martial artist. Decreases the awareness cost of takedown. Uh, increases HP recovery and hideout. Protect from harm and effect of gas clouds. Except for loss of vision. Okay. I think what we'll do... Is... Grab actor. Disguise can't be detected. So if we've got a disguise on, some, like, enemies who are particularly perceptive can see through your disguise. So we'll, like, be impossible to see through our disguise in this. Still, if we, like, hit people, they'll probably know it's us. You know, they can probably guess. But it'll be useful to have someone with the actor perk. Uh, we currently have current training. Uh, combat tactics. Blinding laser interrupts enemy overwatch and makes characters unable to shoot during the next turn. When hit, the agent receives a bonus to damage from firearms. She's proficient with the machine pistol thing, the sparrow. Uh, not the sparrow, sorry. The, it looks like a scorpion to me. I'm guessing it's a scorpion. I don't know the actual designation. The VZ-61 and the sparrow, which I don't know what it is. It looks like a squad support weapon. We could train her in urban operations. Upon healing other characters, this character also heals them. She gets pistols. Or basic firearms drill. In which case you get the LMG-26, the GAL, which looks like an Uzi. Maybe it's a knockoff. An M10, which is a... Uh, what's it called? A Mac? Mac-10? M10. Ah, all right. Model... Um, it's a shotgun. Yeah. I don't think we want anything that badass. I think you're probably okay if you're just your basic combat tactics. Background Stasi. And you've got training in PPK from that. Theremin, uh, we will give you. Expert Marksman? Spetsnaz. Okay. Maybe we should give you some, like, really badass things. Ooh, we've got Compact Follower as well. Uh, whoops, I don't wonder. All right. What should we give you for your training? Empty slot. We could give you combat tactics, urban operations, or go all the way to, like, basic firearm drill. I think basic firearm drill. Like, it doesn't give you any abilities, but it gives you a lot of good training for some pretty nice weapons. And since you've got marksmen, maybe we'll make you, like, a heavy weapons person. So we'll, like, train you in that. We could mod your AK. Yeah. And then Kodiak. I think 3 would be pretty cool. Like, no harmful effect from gas. I don't know how often gas will appear, but it seems pretty cool. Bulletproof vest. Theremin. Get yourself a bulletproof vest. And... Indigo gets off bulletproof vest. Gets off first aid kit. Theremin. Maybe change the flashbang to a frag grenade. And then you all. Uh, now you've got BM. Is anyone else trained in a BM? Okay, so the rifle does less damage... Oh, no, sorry. Less damage on single shots than the French Dow. Yeah, I'll give you that. And then you can have a... French Dow. How much does the Overwatch cost of this? Does it say? It doesn't say...
Get yourself an AK and the French Dow's back up. What are you f proficient with? Basic firearm drill, freelancer, 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 urban operations. Urban operations, okay. You can retrain them. Um, so if we were to like click and then retrain them to that, we'd get these as proficiencies. You can use a gun you're not proficient in, but you just spend longer reloading it and stuff, I think. What are we proficient with? Sparrow. Okay, we are proficient with the sparrow. If the enemies blow a certain amount of health, instantly kill Coup de Gras. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, right. Someone should get this spare flashbang. Move to Sermon, because you've got a cool mustache. It's a great reason. Secret perk. Either hidden talent or the effect of conspiracy brainwashing. That's not worrying at all. Maybe I don't give you the flashbang. Maybe you get the flashbang. Oh, and you should get a pistol as well. And you can have a compact follow upgrade for the sparrow. Since the reload is, what, like two AP? Yeah. Oh, that damage is amazing. 80 damage at max. And 50 at min. Ooh. It only fires on full auto. Yeah, it's an LMG. Uh, right. We could also hire... Higher danger plus 60. So we've got a danger of, like, extra heat happening. Yeah, we'll totally hire both of you. Extra agents. Sounds like a good idea. What have you got? S Ooh, you were SAS. Damn. Uh... Oh, 38 isn't terrible. Oh, you came with a BM? Cool. Mm, we'll give you a pistol. Let's back up. And... Garrett. You get... Yeah, the 38 is really nice. Are you proficient with the 38? No. Ah, shame. In which case you get the Dow. Because I want to give the 38 to some of my like, leveled up people. Probably you... Just because you've got a pretty crappy main weapon. Like, I can change your main weapon, but you wouldn't be proficient with it. You're proficient with that. Faster reload, cheap headshots, and weapon modding. Could give you a better gun, but... Yeah, I guess I will give you the better gun. Uh, the burst attack's actually better. Yeah, I'll give you, actually you can keep the keep the sixty one. Okay, uh, infirmary, no injured agents. We could upgrade it or something, probably. Workshop. Oh sweet, we can make stuff in the workshop. Uh, indigo, no no no, we're gonna make someone crappy work there. Uh, cask mate, you can work there. We can make lockpicks or flashbangs. I think we should make lockpicks. Six hundred and forty dollars for a lockpick. That's expensive. We don't have any lockpicks. We should make them. Analytics. Three slot. Gather more intel. So I'm guessing we can't, like, put anyone there. We need to gather more intel. Okay, investigation board. Black Swan's detailed report from the recent information raid on the Soviet military space program contains a shocking revelation. Revelation? Sorry, revelation. While we were working in on A119 back in the 50s, the Soviets had a similar lunar nuclear detonation program in the works. In fact, one of their lunar probes has carried the device to the dark side of the moon and drop it from there. The most interesting bit is that recent memos intercepted from blank desk repeat the same code names in a new context as if the nukes were already there. Should we inv Okay, so the Russians might have nukes already on the moon, and that's what the Americans are worried about. Comrade, our source is in. Something. Provide new data about this Star Wars program. First, second, three, worst fear appeared to be justified. The Americans will gain first strategic capability with these new weapons. Committee convened yesterday and decided to repurpose research conducted by Spanish Armada to build an orbital weapons platform. Codename Plat Poly Polypus. Polyus? Polyus. Initial calculations suggest we should be able to mount the 
won a laser cannon to effectively counter the devices developed under SDI. Okay. Do I do anything with these? Person? Organization? Okay. Collection documents from both sides of the Iron Curtain describe plans for both superpowers to militarization of space. We suspect that more than one of these projects have been influenced by the respective military industrial complexes of each nation, diverting money from space exploration and science to military progress and paranoia. Okay. Do I do anything here? No? I guess it's just like a document that is helpful? Right. Uh, we can also... Right. Upgrade additional investigation board slots. Tactical recon job allowing tactical amount to use during missions. That sounds pretty cool. More infirmary slots. Increase the agent limit. Improve danger. Increase efficiency. Reducing the risk of raids and related losses. That's nice. So this is our danger bar. We're here because we've recruited people and that's the danger zone. More hideout candidates discovered on the world map where we can move our hideout to. Unlocks a forge facility. Cash forging, character customization, and identity. That's pretty neat. Uh, we'll grab... Unlocks the tactical recon job. And... Oh, we can only do one at a time. Okay, sure. Because I would like tactical recon job, allowing tactical advantages during missions. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. And this is the world map. So welcome to the world map. Uh, this is our base. This is our special mission. These are all, like, random locations that events might appear in. The militia we encountered were likely moonlighting as hired muscle. We'll find out for whom. Perform a special mission to advance the story. Four hours, and we need two people. Okay. Let's assign us and Indigo, because Indigo is like our social, like, stealth disguise person, and we're badass. Uh, if we needed more badass, we could assign... Where's our other badass person? Theremin. Oh, he's training right now. Okay, start job. We'll send you. And they can do that mission. And I guess... We can end the episode here. So, uh, we'll next time hopefully find out what's going on. But for now, I've been Aerolysium. If you've liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Also, since it is a new game and a new series, it's always good to get that feedback. So feel free to put like a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it so far. If you want me to play more. Uh, generally, I'm like going to play like a test. Like how many I feel like to get a thin sense of the game. And then if people want me to play more, I'll play more. So let me know. Do the thing down below. Until next time, stay shiny.